Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video. We're going to have a look at the ECMJ 30 day model for today's uh, first video. Uh, so it's going to take us into the beginning of April. We're going to look at temperature and precipitation anomalies for uh, not just the UK, but for the rest of Europe as well uh, for the next four weeks. And I'll get on with that for you very shortly. Just say that the second video update came up later on this afternoon. It'll be your regular week to 10 day video update with all of the usual features. And uh, that will be uh, later on this afternoon. We're at the Hungarian Met Office for this. So a big thank you to them for supplying uh, the charts. We can't show you mean silver pressure or 500 millibar height anomalies. Uh, but from a temperature and precipitation anomalies, you can get a rough idea, really, of what the model um, is forecasting in terms of the overall uh, broad pattern. Uh, right, so get on, get on with it for you now then. And we're going to start off with the week one temperature anomaly. It's week 11 uh, for the year. It's taking us from the 9th through to the 15th of uh, March. Um, so we see it in the extreme northwestern corner through uh, Norway, central northern parts of Sweden, into Scotland and Ireland. Uh, we have average to uh, slightly cold on average temperatures um, this week from the 9th to the 15th of March. Significantly cold on average up over Iceland and much of the North Atlantic is actually looking below average. But that's the exception to the rule. Most other parts of Europe are much warmer than average. Um, from the Black Sea up to some parts of Russia, we've got temperature anomalies there of around 6 to 10 degrees above average. More widely across Eastern Europe, we're sort of at around 3 to 6 degrees above average and even back into west of europe like through uh northwest parts of germany uh low countries belgium holland uh and down into um france we're around one to three degrees above average so it's pretty mild scene across most parts of europe warm across those eastern areas uh and down in mediterranean quite a uh, quite a warm scene there as well so we've got spain and uh, spain and into portugal at around three to six degrees above average over on the southeast side of the med around greece and turkey again uh three to six degrees above average there with the um temperature anomaly central parts of the med not quite as warm but even so one to three degrees above average significantly mild average in most parts you're away from the extreme northwestern um Part. Uh, as far as precipitation is concerned for week one, from the 9th to the 15th of uh, of March, we find that, again, much of the Mediterranean is looking quite dry, so presumably quite a bit of high pressure down in the med, but go north of the Alps, and it does get significantly more unsettled. So for Ireland and the UK, significantly above average rainfall there. Many parts of Germany, the Low Countries, Denmark, into southern parts of Scandinavia, Peninsula, southern Norway, southern Sweden, above average precipitation in those areas. When over towards the Baltic and into west of Russia, again, above average precipitation coming through uh, there. So clearly quite an unsettled week again for much of northern Europe with lots of low pressure dominating, but high pressure looks like uh, it's more influential down across the southern parts of uh, Europe, perhaps, in uh, the week ahead. Moving through to week two, which is week 12 of the year, this is how things are looking. So by then, again, widely above average temperatures, really, through most parts of uh, Europe. The southeastern corner actually looks a little bit cooler. So uh, around the Black Sea and down in towards Greece and Turkey, slightly below average temperature anomalies there. Conversely, though, the above average temperatures look as though they're pushing a bit further northwest. So we've got much of England, for example, with above average temperature anomalies. And many parts of Scandinavia uh, as well, uh, above average temperature anomalies um, through there. Ireland is still close to average, as is Scotland. Uh, and just generally, we're talking about temperature anomalies around 1 to 6 degrees above average, really, through most parts of Europe, away from the southeastern corner. In Mediterranean, uh, many central and western areas above average temperatures. So from Spain, Portugal in the west over towards Italy and the Adriatic into the Balkans, um, temperature anomalies are around 1 to 3 degrees above average. But in the southeastern corner of the Med through Greece, it does look a little bit uh, cooler and that extends back into Turkey as well. Precipitation-wise, it's a bit drier as well. So still a rather above average with precipitation in this far northwestern part. So again, around Ireland, west of Scotland, some parts of Norway, still above average rainfall through those areas. Uh, but overall, actually, it's looking as though it's rather dry through this uh, week from 16th to 22nd of March. Uh, again, we see rather a, a rather dry than average precipitation anomalies from the west, from France in the west, over towards the Black Sea in the east. Down into the Mediterranean, 
Uh, most places uh, rather driving average. It looks a little bit wetter here across eastern parts of Spain. So um, in sort of holiday areas like uh, like the Balearic Islands, for example, and then back into the costa, it looks a bit above average precipitation there. But otherwise, most parts of Med actually looking a little bit on the drier than average side through this week. I think high pressure is probably more influential here. We've probably got some ridging taking place across the central and western parts of Europe with the jet stream being pushed further north and taking the low pressure further north as well. Maybe hints of some uh, lower pressure through that central basin of the Mediterranean. Uh, moving on to week three, week 13 for the year, of course, taking us from the 23rd to 29th of uh, March. Again, we see quite widely above average temperature anomalies. So from Spain and Portugal down here up to northern Scandinavia there. Uh, overall above average temperatures. This eastern southeastern part of Europe does look average a bit cooler than average. And for Ireland and the UK, it's a little bit cooler there as well. Close to average, really, but certainly a little bit cooler than most inland parts of uh, Europe. But through this central and western swathe, again, most places around 1 to 3 degrees above average from the 23rd, 29th of March. Precipitation-wise, in week 3, um, so central western areas are a little bit drier than average, so Germany, low countries, east parts of France, back to the west of Russia, drier than average here, so presumably some high pressure taking place there. Looks a little bit above average still across this extreme northwestern part, so again probably influenced from low pressure in the extreme northwest of Europe, I mean down through the Med. The signal is weakening, it looks as though overall the central part of the Med may be a little bit unsettled. On either side, it could be a bit drier. So through Portugal, perhaps a bit drier. And then in the southeastern corner, maybe a little bit drier through there. And then finally, we come through to week four, week 14 from the year for the year, taking us from the 30th of March to the 5th of April. Northern Europe has above average temperatures. So many northern parts of Europe above average temperatures around one to three degrees. Uh, western parts of Europe average to a bit cooler than average. So it does look as though things are getting cooler for the end of March and the beginning of April across parts of Ireland, the UK, France, Spain, Portugal. It looks like it's cooling down through these uh, areas compared to average. Through the Mediterranean, uh, so western parts of the Med, like for Spain, uh, are b are below average temperatures there. Eastern parts of the Med average to possibly a little bit above average. It's got a big deviation and the anomaly is weakening as we're going, as we're going further out. Finally, precipitation-wise, uh, for um, Europe and for the UK as well, from the 30th of March to the 5th of April. We find the central part of the Med is a bit wetter than average. Otherwise, quite close to average, really, with precipitation. Uh, a bit drier, hinted, perhaps, or some drier hints, maybe, through this central area, from Ireland and the UK in the west, over towards west of Russia. Just hints that maybe being a little bit drier, but the scene is really too weak to be able to, <coughs> excuse me, be able to ascertain a great deal. So I suspect we will be looking at low pressure down here, uh, possibly some higher pressure ridging through here, uh, and then, again, maybe low pressure up here, and that's where the jet stream would be. But again, this is a very long way out now. We're into the beginning of April, so obviously there is quite a bit of uncertainty with that. It looks as though things aren't going to be overly dramatic weather-wise in the next four weeks, and they very rarely are uh, at this point of the year. It is one of the quieter points of the year. Overall, still most places, though, certainly early on, above average with temperatures. It does look a bit cooler in the northwest. Um, and uh, just generally varying from week to week in terms of precipitation as well. So not a particularly exciting week to come. Uh, but it does look as though over time we lose the exceptionally mild uh, anomalies to average that we have had over the past few months. Uh, right, that's it for your first video. Uh, with that later on, with your week 10-day video updates, so come back for that then. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.